And joining us tonight for Budget Reply Night is Lisa Goddard from Adoni Media and Emily Dye from GT Communications. Ladies, it's been a very busy Thursday, so let's jump straight into Friday when let's lead with the national broadsheet with the Australian. With the headline tomorrow, we'll take the nuclear option, says the Libs. Peter Dutton has put nuclear power and gas at the heart of the coalition's future energy blueprint in a direct challenge to Labor's climate change policy and will wave through the majority of Jim Chalmers' $14.6 billion cost of living package. Lise, it's been just a couple of hours since uh, Mr Dutton was at the dispatch box here in Canberra. I know Paul has touched on it this mm -hmm. evening. What did you make of uh, the opposition leader's reply? I think he came across as incredibly strong. I think like all of us, I was sitting there tonight waiting to see just how uh, Dutton would perform. And like we saw him mm. do when he took over the defence portfolio when the coalition was in government, he was strong. And I think he really took it up to, to the government and ran through exactly what I think a lot of Australians are starting to question. They've been in, in government now. We're heading up to the, the one-year anniversary. There are those questions around those broken promises. But I think what was really good was it was for the pretty much the first time we've actually seen seen uh, Peter Dutton take the lead and sort of lay out some sort of framework as to what we can expect to hear from the coalition moving forward you know, over the coming years. And I think a lot of us have been waiting to see that sort of direction and to see him come out hard on nuclear. It came out backing in gas very, very hard. So we've seen, obviously, the Greens pushing that gas needs to be demonised. Um, you've seen you know, Labor under pressure over that. So I think yeah, he, he went out also strong. I would believe it would be to try to attract that female vote back into towards the Liberal mm. Party because they know they lost that largely uh, in the last election and they're trying to get that back. So you saw ovarian cancer get um, millions of dollars that he, well, he said he would he would put towards ovarian cancer, you know, money towards mm. medicines and, and uh, health services for women. So I think it's a very deliberate ploy to show this is where the coalition is headed over the next few years. Yeah. Emily, you uh, pretty much sit in the target demographic for who the Libs are prob probably trying to chase, being a millennial woman. And like Lise just said there, $4 million for ovarian cancer research, $5 million being dedicated to women's uh, illnesses being on, and also including that treatment on the PBS. I think, you know, we heard menopause in the budget on Tuesday night. We heard polycystic ovarian syndrome tonight in the budget reply. We also saw him going pretty hard on the fact that they would reinstate the 20 Medi Medicare subsidised psychologist appointments which the government have cut back to 10. Mm -hmm. What did you make of it as a young Australian woman? I thought it was very good. Um, I was impressed. This is the kind of policy that I've been wanting to see from the Liberal Party for a very long time. And as a young mm. woman, I'm also very excited about nuclear energy. As a young person, I want to see <laughs> us moving towards more sustainable energy. Um, with mm. menopause, I was talking a couple, to a couple of older women and had my mind blown a little bit, realizing that it actually lasts like 10 years. I thought it was yeah. like six months, yeah. one and done. And so I'm really, <laughs> I was like, oh no. Um, so very happy to see these kinds of policies um, to help help support women, help support women's health. I think women's health historically has very much been neglected. It's mm. women must just bear it. Oh, period, pain, it's something that's expected. That's normal. We get told a lot it's normal and often it's not. Um, so it's good to yeah. see. I'm, I'm excited to see the Liberal Party coming up with really good policies and a really good response. Yeah, the change is well and truly on. Capital T, capital C. Let's see how it mm. goes.